Some say Chinese is one of the most difficult languages in the world, and learning it is almost impossible. So learning Chinese, the most difficult thing. So I'm sort of tone deaf. I can't really hear them. I think the cultural mindset is the biggest complication for the us. grammar. It's just complicated. So much. Only because you're not learning it in the right way. Why not try Take Away Chinese, where you can take some Chinese away and experience progress day by day. Take away Chinese. We will promise you a difference. Welcome to Takeaway Chinese. I'm Yao Hongling. Joining me today, Miss Pearl here in the studio. Hi, Pearl. Very happy to have you. Hi, great to be back. I really enjoyed this program. Ah,、oh, I'm very glad to have you back. And see, when it comes to welcoming new friends to the show, I am very glad because. I also gradually know you guys through the making of the program because we talk about different themes, and I get to ask you personal questions and get to know you guys a bit better. It is always such a pleasure. So I'm gonna ask you this question that's a bit personal because I myself is kind of nerdy when it comes to visiting museums. I like shopping in the souvenir stores. I like the antiques. I like the exhibits in. Different kinds of exhibition centers. What about you? Are you nerdy in that area?、I、could say I'm a bit of a museum connoisseur myself. <laughs> I do love to visit museums, you know, and just take in that culture、oh, yeah. in there. You know, everything. I've been to、uh, one here in Beijing.、Mm -hmm. I forget the area. The arts area here in、uh, Beijing. Ah, seven nine eight. Yes, seven nine eight. Yes, seven nine eight. And、uh, I had a wonderful time there. I mean, the culture that you get immersed in in that area. I mean, if you're an artsy person, yeah, you get to experience all that in one place. People that are very creative, artistic people, and、uh, also you know the. The artifacts that are there, that are being sold there, it's very interesting. It is, and I can totally get you because I love museum going and I enjoy the exhibitions there as well. But the gift shop is always a very big attraction to me because I like to you know take some art home. And when it comes to the artifacts, when it comes to the art craft, and when it comes to something you know you can keep for yourself, it's always very very nice. Yeah, I mean it's also nice to just buy something that you can go back home with and show other people. Oh yeah, and it reminds you. <laughs> just show it you. off to other people. Like, <laughs> do you know what this is? You know, and just admire, share in admiring this、uh, piece of art because I do enjoy that yeah, sharing no, art. Yeah, we call them. Big thing. Normally, we call it 纪念品纪念品 Yes, 纪念 is to commemorate. To remember something by, and 品 is 物品 goods or stuff. So 纪念品 is literally a little something that you can remember the museums by, or you remember anything by 纪念品纪念品 Yes, that's the idea. So actually, today we're going to talk about cultural and creative products, 文创产品 So 文 is 文化 cultural. 文化文化文化嗯哼 and 创创意创创意，创意 creative， and 产品 is product， so 文创产品 is cultural and creative products. In my opinion, there can be some overlaps between 文创产品 and 纪念品 but nevertheless, they are little items that you can take home to commemorate your cool experience touring the museum and also show off a little bit. So for our dear listeners, if you're interested in Chinese culture and you want to get a grip on the Chinese language, then this. This is the show for you. Stick with us for 30 minutes, and you soon see the rewards. But now, let's provide you with some free Chinese for takeaway. 现在雪糕的花样可真多呀！这个雪糕是兵马俑造型的。我看到别人朋友圈发的图，种草好久了。那咱们也买一个尝尝。我们参观完再买吧。先去了解一下它的故事。好呀。
就这么愉快的决定了。现在，雪糕的花样可真多呀！这个雪糕是兵马俑造型的。我看到别人朋友圈发的图，种草好久了。那咱们也买一个尝尝。我们参观完再买吧，先去了解一下他的故事。好呀，就这么愉快的决定了。And that is the conversation. How'd you find it? Hard or easy peasy? Or I think it was easy to follow. Good.、Um, I was familiar with some of the <laughs> vocabulary, so yeah. Yeah, that's、good. the best kind. I think when it comes to learning, we need to keep something that we're familiar with in, and then build a bit upon it. So you learn several new expressions, several new words, and that's how it's done. So for the first sentence, 现在雪糕的花样可真多呀。现在雪糕的花样可真多呀。嗯 ，That is. There are so many fancy popsicles these days. <laughs> yes. So, 现在现在 that is right now. Right now,、uh, currently. Currently, yes.、Mm-hmm. So it's the same in English. It doesn't necessarily mean at this right moment. It can mean like these days. So, 现在 these days, 雪糕雪糕、mm-hmm. popsicles popsicles or ice creams. 雪 is snow. 糕糕点 is actually cake. So, 糕点嗯、um, ，cake. So it's a snow cake. 雪 snow.、Uh-huh. Okay. 雪糕 snow cake. Actually, popsicle here. 雪糕、so、it means snow cake. Wow, right? It's cute. <laughs> 雪糕的花样花样嗯、um, It's kind of like variety. Var- yes, it's variety. It's like different kinds. 花样很多 Ah,、uh, many different kinds. And 花样 can also mean. The style or the pattern. So, this pattern is really cute. It's like, wow, this pattern is very beautiful. The pattern on the ice cream or the pattern of a、uh, sometimes paper cutting. So that's the pattern. 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 Yes, it has two meanings. Here, it means variety. Pattern. Ke zhen duo ya. Ke zhen duo ya. Uh huh. Ke is like really very. Zhen duo really duo many. So, ke zhen duo ya is really a lot, a lot of different kinds. This cake is made of bees. This one is in the shape of a terracotta warrior. Yes. <laughs> so, this one, this one, this. Hmm. Cake, we know already. It's the popsicle. Popsicle. Yes. Shi is bees' warrior. Terracotta warrior. Ah、uh-huh. ha! So, <laughs> literally speaking, because、uh, this word is made up of three characters, Bing is、um, soldier. Bing,、mm-hmm. soldier. Yes, 马马 That's the horse. So it's 勇 is kind of like I don't think it's a toy, but it's a bit like that. So Bing 马勇 is like the toy of soldiers and their horses. That's Why it's the terracotta warrior? Bing Ma Yong. Yes, Bing Ma Yong. Design. Design. Uh huh. I think I know this one. It means style. It means style. Yes, perfect. Bing Ma Yong. Design. So it's in the shape of Bing Ma Yong, terracotta warrior. The style of it. It's the look of it. So the popsicle is shaped like a terracotta warrior. Yes. 兵马俑造型的雪糕。我看到别人朋友圈发的图，种草好久了。我看到别人朋友圈发的图，种草好久了。Good, and that means that means I've been wanting to get it for a while after seeing it on other people's social media. Great. So, 我 is I 看到看到 I've seen it. Uh huh. 别人。别人 other people, other people. There is actually another way of saying other people. Because you know what got me a bit there、uh-huh. is that when you say 不要 or 
别啊。哈、uh-huh, ，You're right, you're right. It means don't do something.、Yes, you are totally right.、Don't. But 别呃、uh, in itself, it can mean don't. But 别人 together is a word. It means other people. Oh,、mm-hmm. I see. You can also say 其他人其他人 That is also other people. 其他人 Yes. And 朋友圈朋友圈朋友圈 Okay, 朋友 is friend. Uh huh. 圈圈 Hmm. Is a circle. That one is a little tough for me. Oh, yes, it's a circle. circle. So、okay. together, actually, 朋友圈 is literally friend circle. But it is a function on WeChat. It's the WeChat moments. Oh, I see. Ah、uh-huh. ha!、Yes. So, 朋友圈 a friend circle, WeChat moment. Fa is to publish. So, 图 we know is picture. So, fa 的图 is like the picture they posted in their WeChat moment. 种草 Do you know this one? 种草种草 Hmm. Let me see. 种草种草 means. Does it mean social media? <laughs> Actually, this is a tricky one because "zhong" carries the meaning of soul to grow something. "Cao" is grass, so literally, it's growing grass. And because it's a trend, it's kind of like an internet slang or internet jargon.、Oh. It's saying that when you want to buy something so hard, and you are growing some seeds, growing some grass in your heart, and you feel like it's itchy, it's itchy right there. You have this itchiness for、wow. a certain item. That feeling is described as 种草 So 我对这个蛋糕很种草 To this cake, this special cake. I have a strong feeling for it. Someone has planted the seed in my heart, and now it's growing to grass, and it's itchy. And if someone else say, "No, it tastes really bad. Don't buy it. It's just not good. It's, it's been advertised too well. Don't, I don't like it. Don't buy it." Then you can say, "拔草，拔草，草。Oh, it's like removing the grass in your heart. You don't feel the itchiness anymore." Oh, 拔草，拔草 ，remove the grass. So these are. Internet slangs. So, 种草 would be saying that you have a great desire for something. Yeah, I think in English we call it a craving. A craving. Yeah, that is a good word. Yes, yes. And also nowadays, with all the internet influencers out there telling you what to buy, we also call that action of introducing you to an item that they feel like is really good for you. 种草，种草 Yes, they plant the seed. Let it grow in your heart, so that someday you will have to battle anyway by buying it or by hating it. So they entice you to crave something. Yes, even if you like you never really, really thought of it before. <laughs> exactly, 种草 so 种草好久了 so I've been wanting this for quite a long time. 那咱们也买一个尝尝。那咱们也买一个尝尝。嗯。Then let's get one and give it a try. Yes, that was an easy sentence for me. I think. Oh, good. So then you explain. So na, na, it means then, then. Yeah,、oh, okay. because it's like it's not with a very concrete meaning, but it's very useful to form the sentence. So、oh, that's、okay. na. 咱们咱们、mm-hmm. It means us. Yes, we us. Yeah, yeah. To me, it means also. Also, it is also great. 买一个，买一个， mm-hmm. 买 means buy. Yes, 一个 one. Ah、uh-huh. ha, 个 is the quantity word here. Yes. Do you know some other quantity words? Give some examples. 一次，一次 So one time. Yes, that is a quantity word. 次 is a quantity word. What about、uh, clothing when it comes to one dress? 一件，一件 ，yes， 一件衣服 ，one piece of clothes， and then 裤子 has a different， yes， can you think of it？ word， 一条，一条裤子 ，see you're doing really well， huh？ and then for paper， 嗯哼，一张纸，一张纸 ，for cake， like a slice of cake， 嗯哼，一块。Yeah, your Chinese is better than or, I expected. Actually, you know a lot of quantity words. Or you can say, since it's hot these days,、uh-huh. you can say, 一块
西瓜。<laughs> You're thinking about you can't eat 西瓜 <laughs> because it's hot. Yes. yes, these are some very useful quantity words, and I feel like the trick of remembering it is do what Pearl is doing right now. That is to remember the quantity word with the actual noun. Put them together. Remember the correlation, and that's how you build up your vocabulary, especially in terms of quantity words. So, you go is the easiest one, and from there you can, you know, have a list of your own vocabulary. Let's say glossary of i of quantity words, and then we have 长长长长 Uh huh. That is, try something little. Yes, and also, uh, to have a taste of something. So try something, especially for food. You have to taste it.、Mm, taste a little, a little bit. Have a little taste. 尝尝 Actually, this is a useful and very common structure. That is to repeat the same verb twice, so you have a relatively lighter tone. So 尝尝 is like have a taste. How do you say have a look? 看看看看 Have a listen. 聊聊聊聊 Have a chat. You see, you are you are really good at this. So this is a very useful structure. That's how you say it. And actually, even though the examples we gave are almost all one-syllable words, actually the structure can be used for two-syllable words as well. For example, 讨论讨论 discuss. 讨论讨论 Yes, yes. Let's have a discussion over something. But keep in mind, a two-character word or a two-character verb can be formed in different ways. For example, we have 讨论 Both the characters 讨 and 论 mean to discuss something. In that sense, you can use the structure 讨论讨论 But if we have a verb 上班 that is formed by 上 which is to go, and 班 is actually the noun kind character in the word, then you cannot say 上班上班 You have to say 上上班 So we are always repeating the verb, the verb type.、Part. Yes, the verb part, the verb part word or the verb part character. So it has to be like that. Oh、mm-hmm. yes. Okay. I think I understand that. Great. So that's the idea. And let's continue with our sentences. 我们参观完再买吧。先去了解一下它的故事。我们参观完再买吧。先去了解一下它的故事。Yes. That means sure. After we finish here, we'll go find out the story behind it first. Great. So, woman, woman is us or we. Yes. Do you know the difference between woman and woman? Not really, because there is no difference. They are basically <laughs> the same thing. You can totally use them interchangeably. It's just that woman is a bit more colloquial, whereas woman is relatively more formal. Okay. 参观参观 Uh huh. I'm not sure about that one. It means to visit. To visit a place, we translate it to visit, but actually, 参观 means to visit a place and tour. When you're visiting somewhere, you have to go there and have a tour, and that's the entire meaning of visit or of 参观旅游 Uh huh. 旅游 means 旅游 means to, holiday or it does also mean tour, but it means tour itself. So 旅游旅行 that's the trip, the travel. Whereas 参观 is exactly you go visit a place. And that tanguan include touring in it because visit in English when you visit some place you doesn't necessarily have to have a look around the building around every room maybe you're just going there but tanguan because guan carries the meaning of look so tanguan definitely you're、so、having a tour it's exploring that place that you are visiting yes、or? yes yes but、okay. the exploring part is implied instead of translated directly、mm-hmm. tanguan. Tanguan, uh huh, one, one, uh huh, is to finish. So after visiting, 再 means then, 买 means to buy. How to say to sell? 给买 or 买给 no. To sell is 买 Oh my! <laughs> I ask、word. this because it's a bit tricky because、yeah. <laughs> they share similar pronunciations yet different tone. So 买 that's to buy, 买 that's to sell. My ah、uh-huh, ha. So、perfect. that's the first, no, the fourth, fourth town. Yes. 先去 means firstly we go 了解了解 It means to learn about or understand、something. or understand something. Yes. So if someone asks you, 你了解他吗？你了
解他。你了解他吗 ？Do you know him? Do you know him relatively well? It's like saying it's not saying do you understand him. It's kind of like do you know what kind of person this. Do you really Man know is. this person? Do you know really know this person? Yes. So it's like no in a relatively deeper level. 了解，了解。嗯哼。You can kind of compare it with 知道，知道。嗯哼。Because I know、That's、this, I know. 我知道了 ，right? Because if you say people ask you, 你了解他吗 ？Do you know him like relatively well? Actually, you can say 我知道他 ，I know this person， 但我不了解他。But I don't feel like I know him. Well enough to explain this person to you. I know him. Uh huh. I know who he is. That's basically it. But I don't know him. Ah, that's how you use it. So, know a little about his story. We know story is story. Story is story. His story is the story of this item. So, know a little about his story. I'd like to learn about the story behind it first. Okay, just so quickly decided. Okay, just so. 愉快的决定了。That means great. Sounds like a good plan. Yeah. So, 好呀，好呀、mm-hmm. ，great. Some other ways to agree with an idea or a recommendation. Do you know? 好的，好的、mm-hmm. ，great. We sometimes also say 好吧，好吧 ，fine. 好吧 is a less, a little less enthusiastic compared to 好呀，好呀 is very enthusiastic. And how about? 好啊，好啊，嗯、mm-hmm. 哼 ，Sure. And also, I think some people say 好嘞，好嘞 ，Yes.、Mm, different ways of、I've、saying it. I've heard a lot of people in the office say 好嘞，啊，好嘞。Whereas I'm used to 好的，好的。<laughs> And 就 means then. 这么 is like this. 愉快的决定了，愉快，愉快，嗯哼。It means happy. Or pleasure,、oh, quiet, yes, 愉快快乐快乐 That's also happy, and 决定决定、uh-huh. plan 决定 is decide. Really, ah、uh-huh. ha! It means decide 决定 So 我决定明天不来了 I decided that I will not come back tomorrow. 决定 What's the difference、uh-huh. between 决定 and 打算打算 is kind of like a plan. So I plan to do something and、uh, 准备准备 can also be planned too, but it carries the meaning of ready.、Okay. So 你准备好了吗 Are you ready? 我准备去旅行 I am planning a trip. It carries the meaning of getting ready for something. I see. And here, 决定 is to decide, and it can mean decision as well. So it can be used both as a verb or a noun. You can say 你的决定是什么 What is your decision? And here, actually, 愉快的决定了 or 就这么愉快的决定了 is kind of like a set phrase or set sentence that a lot of people use. Also popular on the internet for a while, and then now people just use it commonly in our daily conversation. Okay. Yeah. So that's the dialogue part. Do you have any questions towards it? No, I think I asked all. Okay, great. My questions. Too. Then let's give it a go. Now, the flower garden is very different. 这个雪糕是兵马俑造型的。我看到别人朋友圈发的图，种草好久了。那咱们也买一个尝尝。我们餐馆晚再买吧，先去了解一些他的故事。好呀，就这么愉快的决定了。You're listening to Takeaway Chinese with myself, Niu Hongli, and Pearl. We would love to hear from you. Coming up next, let's learn about the cool cultural and creative products that are receiving high praise from consumers in China. Don't go away, so you will take some Chinese away. Welcome back to Takeaway Chinese. I'm Niu Hongli with Pearl here in the studio. So, Pearl, do you like to buy the 文创产品 or the souvenirs? The 纪念品 from museums or from tourist destinations. Yes, those that are affordable. Yeah, <laughs> I love to buy them <laughs> and just decorate my home.、Um, so I do have a, a small collection in my apartment.、Ah, I do that too, which is why I have too many of those stuff of the magnet, 冰箱贴 
Bing Shang Tie. That is the magnet you have. You can use it to decorate your refrigerator.、Uh, in Chinese, actually, Bing Xiang is the fridge, and Tie is a sticker. So Bing Xiang Tie. And also, I have a lot of hats and scarf. Si Jin, Si Jin. That's the scarf. And I also have some rulers for some reason. Rulers. That's yeah, yeah. Interesting. When it comes to really long stroll of Chinese paintings, they sometimes make some rulers. Inspired by it, so you can have some rulers. That's also cool. Chiz, chiz. Hmm. Which is why I really praise the idea of making those Wenchuang 产品 cultural and creative product into popsicles. So I do not have to hoard all these cool products. I just eat them up. <laughs> That's a great way of thinking about it. <laughs> Yeah, it's very nice to come across those、uh, things. And、uh, my favorite, I think, would be、uh, Xiong Mao. Xiong Mao. Ah,、oh, panda. Panda <laughs> ice cream. Xiong Mao 雪糕啊 Panda ice creams. Oh yeah, I like those too. And also, there's the Sanxing Dui Museum's、uh, special ice cream that is from. Southwest China, Sichuan Province. They rolled out ice cream bars in the shape of two millennia-old bronze masks, unearthed from the legendary Sanxing Dui ruins. Have you seen that one? We should totally publish these pictures online. It looks a bit creepy, but once you know the culture and history behind it, you find it fun. But eating it is still.、Mm, I would not eat that. I will buy it for some friends and make some pictures. <laughs> Let me see.、Oh, okay, here's a picture. It does look a bit scary. I know. <laughs> and also, there are some other trendy, unique, and creative cultural products like the ice cream of Yueyang Tower in Hunan Province. This one looks very, very like sophisticated. Yes, it is. Like high-end stuff when it comes to、um, desserts. <laughs> so I think I might try that. I might be tempted to try it. And actually, the other day I visited the Beijing Yuanten Park. They have also promoted ice cream shaped like cherry blossoms. Quite cute. Yeah, that does sound like something I would eat. And the thing is, when it comes to the great season for cherry blossoms, and you can buy a popsicle in that shape and can pose in front of the actual flowers with your ice cream. Wow! Make a picture. I'm、Very、actually、nice. imagining that, and it looks. Amazing! It's、yeah. stunning. And imagine if you have a class of little primary schoolers, and you buy them the ice cream, and everyone's holding one, taking pictures.、Yeah. Great advertising photo. Besides <laughs> the shape, the color of cherry blossoms, that pink、um, color, it's just yeah, I love it. It's amazing. <laughs> cherry blossom, 樱花 Inqua,、mm-hmm, Inqua, and also universities are joining the trend by using the popsicles to promote their school culture. For example, universities are rolling out varieties of styles of popsicles based on their most iconic buildings, including the school gate,、uh, the teaching buildings, as such, and school flowers, school bus. So they can all be seen as part of the very trendy, very popular popsicle culture this summer here in China. Yeah, that's a great way of getting students. Excited about learning and、uh, being part of the culture of the university. Yeah, and they will be very proud to present their very own school-themed popsicle. And actually, here in our organization, we also have some Wenchuang 产品 Yeah, have Wenchuang 雪糕 Have you tried? I tried. I tried the、uh, television tower one, and also tried the microphone one. Um, the microphone one looks yellow in color. And so, I would think it tastes like banana. Is it a、uh, banana flavor? I think flavored it's vanilla、one? flavor. Whoa. Okay. I should try it. I haven't tried them. You、so. should try the blue one because we have a ice cream in the shape of our office building, and that it is blue. I mean, blue food does not attract me usually, but this one, I bite the bullet and try it, and I kind of liked it. What does it taste like? It tastes sweet. <laughs> I guess when I look at it, yes, the color blue gives me bubble gum flavor. <laughs>、um, so usually, yes,、um, desserts that 
do look blue in color, they tend to go the direction of bubblegum taste.、Mm. So I'm not sure. Maybe, you have a taste. Yeah, I've been tempted to buy Zhong Chao. Zhong Chao. Zhong Chao. Zhong Chao. Yes. Go ahead and buy it, <laughs> and let me know if you have it, if you like it, or if you bad talk about it. Yeah, I think I'm I'm leaning towards the yellow one, the microphone shaped one.、Ooh. So I'll probably buy that one. Buy that one. Let me know and let our dear listeners know whether or not you like the Wen Chuang Xie Gao, the cultural and creative popsicles. That brings us to the end of today's takeaway Chinese. I'm Niu Honglin with Pearl here in the studio. For more episodes of the show, you can visit our website at radio.cgtn.com and go to the column podcast. You can also listen to the show and read the script there. Find us wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts, including Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and much more. Just search for Takeaway Chinese. Don't forget to leave your questions, comments, and ratings. I will see you next time. 下次再见。